Okay, First Chronicles 25. Moreover, David and the captains of the host separated to the service of the sons of Asaph, look at it in a moment, and Hinnom and Jeduthun, who should prophesy with harps, psalteries, and with cymbals. And the number of the workmen according to their service was. Okay. Last few chapters, we're dealing with something very important. We're dealing with the music program, if I can say that, because that's a modern word today. And Asaph, Heman, and Jeduthim are the song leaders of David, who he has set forth to be in charge of all the music that is to be played for the Lord at the temple that's coming through Solomon. David can't build that temple, but David is sure set in the rules outside the law. When you look at music and you look at the very foundation of music of mankind, it is the family of Ham that we see music of mankind first mentioned in the Bible, Genesis chapter 4. When you look at the first thing of music of all ever to be music, you're looking at the throne, and I mean throne, of Lucifer, the cherub that used to be above God. He was the music director of all the choirs of the angels. And the Bible mentions to the fact is since Lucifer fell and ongoing today, there is no singing in heaven. And when we come to the book of Revelation, then there's the song, song of Moses. Then there's a new song mentioned. But to say that the angels sung you know, uh, at Jesus' birth and all that, they did it. They said. And we got the realm of music, and we got to realize that David set the principle here. Ezekiel 28 says that Lucifer, who has fallen, Satan, has his one-man band of all these pipes and organs in his body. He was, he was the music director. He was the music instruments in heaven, and he has fallen and so has his music his music branches out to bluegrass country rap rock punk rock classical in many cases not all classical music is correct and right according to the scriptures he's got uh music themes he's got soundtrack He's got a ride well of his music for all the world to skip a beat, to, to bang your hand, and to tap your foot. And he's violating his, been violated into the churches, into the churches of, that are God, Christians. He has come in with this contemporary music that is just junk. A lot of his hymns, you look at the hymn that we're studying, look up for us the biblical truth of your hymns you'll find that many hymns don't even mention Jesus. Many hymns are not scripturally sound. The hymn is not inspired. The Bible is. And it looks like that David, before he dies, before he turns over something to, da to Solomon, he's got this something that I've got to set the rules on music. It's like David knew something that pastors and song leaders have not got. i got to be careful with the music. So he sets it up, and the final chapters of, of Chronicles for David is that music. Now, Asaph, he is mentioned in Psalms 50 and 73 to 83. And if your Bible has Psalms and has that little, not chapter 1, but has that little description, some Bibles don't, that description, that Psalm is given over to Asaph. Jeduthun his psalms are 39, 62, and 77. Now, he man, he's mentioned 1 Kings 431, 1 Chronicles 2, 6, and 633. These are the guys in charge of the music. And I guarantee when you read the aspect of David, anybody got a special music tonight? Oh, yeah, I do. Have you been practicing? No, I'm just ready. Okay, come on up. I sat in a church one time proper. If you're going to do a special, you're going to train yourself, you're going to rehearse yourself, and you're going to do it to the full purpose of God and not yourself. 
I remember one time we had somebody get up, they were going to sing, and they're just worldly dressed. He said, like, sit down. You're not going to please the flesh up here. We're going for that pastor. So look at the harps. Here's harp. And everybody pictures we're going to be we're going to be in heaven on our clouds with the harps. That's not so. We read earlier that David made up his own instruments. David is not punk rock. David's not rock. David's not rap. David's for the Lord. He has a heart after God, the Bible says. So if you want anything of music, you would study David. You would study Psalms. Now, when was the last time you were in a Bible-believing church and they said for the song service, the song leader gets up, he said, okay, open your Bible to Psalms 23 and will the piano player please play for, so we can sing Psalms 23, Psalm 32, Psalm 64. One real daily, Psalms 119. What was the last time? But Psalms in our Bible is our biblical hymn. And when was the last time you ever said, open up this psalm, we're going to sing this song. Somebody in church has worked this psalm out to, hey, we can do it to music. Now, I have had the hymnal open and say, this is ascribed to, to Psalm 32. And when you read it, it has nothing to do with Psalm 32. It has been changed. It's been modified. And you won't allow that for a modern Bible, but you'll allow it for a hymnal. What's going on here? Why is it you can't change the Bible, but you can change the hymnal? David has set his strength. He has set three men, not just one, three men. And verse 2, the sons of Ahab, Zachar and Joseph. I like that name, Joseph, because every other name here is going to be hard. Nathanael, Azariah, the sons of Ahab, under the hands of Ahab. So they are under the, his father, which prophesied according to the order of the king. So their office is to proclaim God's future. God is going to come. God is going to set up a kingdom. God is going to build. Everything that's prophecy would be done through music. Almost like today, if I go on the streets, instead of preaching, I will sing, you know, the Lord is coming, and people close their ears because I have a terrible singing voice. But prophecy, we know what prophecy is. You ever seen it? <clears throat> so, prophecy. Verse 3. Of Jethuthan, number 2. The sons of Jethuthan, Gedaliah, Zerai, Jeshua, Hashabiah, Mitha, Mithathiah, 6. Under his hands of their father, Jethuthim, fathers in charge, who prophesied with heart. Remember David played before Saul, but when Saul had that evil spirit. Well, here they're playing with the heart. Why? To give thanks and to praise the Lord. Asaph, he's glorifying God of the prophecy. Jethuthim, he's Thank it and just praise in God. Glory to God, thank you. Of Heman, the sons of Heman, Bakaiah, Mattiah, Uzo, Shubo, Jeremoth, Hananiah, Hanani, Elethan, Gidatiah, and Romatai Zither, Joshua Bikashin, Malhalifai, Hadair, and Mahazoth, all these were the sons of Haman, the king's seer. Oh, look at that. We got Nathan, we got Gad, and now we got Haman. David had his own personal prophets. David had his own personal priests. David had men that were close to him with God. In the words of God, to lift up the horn. So we got the string instruments, we got the horns, nothing better to hear a trumpet, a flute. I want to do a saxophone. Saxophone is found in blues. Saxophone is found in uh, uh, Louisiana. That's not a Christian area. The horn. And God gave to Heman 14 sons and three daughters. So I guess God was with. Amen. 
all these were under the hands of their father. All right, here's Heman's job. The song in the house of the Lord. It hasn't been built yet. You have one for prophesying. You have one for giving thanks and, and glorifying and praising God. And you have one just for the house of the Lord. The house of God, the temple of God, had its own instrumental and its own singers. As you approach Jerusalem, if you were a stranger, if you were a merchant, and you're and you're on your caravans, and you're traveling to Jerusalem, and maybe you never visited Jerusalem before, or you have visited Jerusalem, and like the Queen of Sheba, you're coming up to Jerusalem, like, what's that I hear? Sounds like good music. And you get closer and closer, and it gets louder and louder and louder. And the closer you get to the temple, the more and louder you hear. Trumpets, harps, pipes, an organ maybe. Because their organ uses pipes. Cymbals, psaltery. That's what David played before Saul. And harps. For the service of the house of God, according to the king's order to Asaph, to Jotham, and Heman. David ordered those three men, you're going to praise God and not the flesh. This is a man after God's own heart. David would walk in today and he would just throw these, these, these musical instruments out. He would throw the, the song leaders out. And he would just probably throw the hymnals out. He wouldn't allow it. So the number of them with their brethren that were instructed. You just didn't pick up an instrument. You just didn't get to start singing. You were instructed in the songs of the Lord. Even all that were cunning, that doesn't. I know that word means bad today, rotten, either cunning, but that meant you were skilled, you were an expert, you knew what you were doing in the Bible. It was 204 score and eight. That's a lot of people. When was the last time you ever had somebody just get up in your church just to praise and glorify God? I just want to praise God in the song. How many times? Let me off. I mean, well, there are times I sing to the Lord. I sing quietly, Lord, but my voice is terrible. If I give God the honor, sing from my heart. I listen to what I'm reading my Bible. I listen to the instrumental of the hymns. And I don't know the words of the hymns that well. I, I put my own heart to the music. I sing my own words to the Lord. And they cast lots. Again, that's short straw, odd number, black ball, whatever, however they did it. Ward against ward, that's room. This room, that room. As well, the small as the great. This, the, 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 I know it means size. That means the, the, very, the, the person of no esteem to the person of great esteem. The teacher as a scholar. We are talking about not education of the scriptures. We're talking about the realm of music. And there were teachers of music. And there were scholars of music. You had to know what was going to be played. You had to know what the source of that had to be played. You had to know what the rhythm, what the tone, what the beat. Is it God approved or is it flesh approved? Is it for God or is it for Satan? Now. So it's very important that David set forth a standard. Churches don't have that standard today. <clears throat> I look at churches, I see their videos. I see a drum set in the back. Drum has nothing spiritual. Nothing spiritual. And now, okay, now the first lot came forth of Asaph to Joseph. Here's the order. The second to Gedaliah, with, who with his brethren were, his brothers and his sons were twelve. The third to Zechur, he and his sons and his brethren were twelve. David's naming them. This is not like, oh, who's going to do the song service today? Their name, they have an order. The fourth to Ezra, and his, he and his sons and his brethren were twelve. The fifth to Nethaliah, he, his sons, and his brethren were twelve. The sixth to Buchaniah, he, his sons, and his brethren were twelve. Look how orderly it is. There are twelve people. Twelve is the number of Israel. The seventh to Jezreelah, he, his sons, and his brethren were twelve. The eighth to Jeshaniah, he, his sons, and his brethren were twelve. 
Ninth is Methaniah, he, his sons, his brethren were twelve. The tenth is Shimeel, he, his sons, his brethren were twelve. The eleventh to Azrael, he, his sons, his brethren were twelve. The twenty, twelve, excuse me, the twelve was the Heshebiah, he, his sons, his brethren were twelve. The thirteenth to Shibio, he, his sons, his brethren were twelve. The fifteenth, fourteenth, excuse me, to Manahiah, he, his sons, his brethren were twelve. The fifteenth to Jeremoth, he, his sons, and his brethren were twelve. The sixteenth to Hananiah, he, his sons, his brethren were twelve. Seventeenth to Jashbekasha, he, his sons, his brethren were twelve. The eighteenth to Hananiah, he, his sons, his brethren were twelve. The nineteenth to Malali, he, his sons, his brethren were twelve. The twentieth to El El that El then, he, his sons, his brethren were twelve. The one and twentieth. Now look there. Now what what what's oh uh, who get? There's no twenty-one in the Bible. Counting. They go one and twentieth. To Harthai, he his sons and his brethren were twelve. The two and twentieth to get a get a light eye, he his sons and his brethren were twelve. The three and twentieth to Mahaz Mahazoth. He, his sons, his brethren were twelve. The four and twentieth to Roma Tezir, he, his sons, and his brethren were twelve. You say, so what? It meant something to David. It's established in order. Now it probably got ruined. It probably got out of hand. But at least the foundation of the music and the program of music for the temple before the temple was built, it had a standard. David set the standard. And to defy evolution, things don't get better. Things don't get uppity up. Things don't get the break. No, things get worse. Things break down. 